Hello and welcome to another uh, My Maths walkthrough. This is task 256 angle sums. Uh, I'm going to use my calculator which I've got here. Uh, let's go. Right, so let's write down some facts we know about angles. So start off with we know angles on a straight line add up to 180 at this particular point. We know angles in a triangle are going to add up to 180 degrees. Uh, we know that a right angle uh, is 90 degrees. So that right angle there is actually 90 degrees. And if I ever see this symbol, I'm going to write 90 degrees in. Uh, I also know that isosceles triangles, the base angles, are going to be equal to each other. And I think that's about all the facts I need to know uh, to solve these problems. Okay, so let's start on the first question. So my first question was, here's a straight line, there's an angle coming off at a point from a straight line, it's 45 degrees. We know that these two add to 180 uh, because angles on a straight line at a point add to 180. So I've got 180. Take away 45 is 135 for the first angle, so 135 degrees. One of the really useful things is actually drawing it out so you can write on the picture. Next question, now I see the right angle symbol, so I'm going to put 90 degrees in there. Uh, it's always better to see the numbers uh, than seeing a little picture representing the number. Uh, so now I know angles at a point on a line, so there's angles at a point on a line, I do 180, so I've got 180, I'm going to take away the 90, then I'm going to take off the 33, and I've got 57 degrees for the angle over here for X. Okay, next question, let's go to this one. So what's about this one? We know angles around a point at 360, didn't draw that up here, let's have a look. Angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. Uh, is an angle fact that we should know about. So if I go all the way around here, I should get to 360. So let's have a look. Uh, start off with 360, take off that 86, take off the 79, take off the 78, and then what I'm left with is 117 degrees. So this one down here is 117 degrees. Don't worry if your diagram doesn't look accurate uh, because they're not accurately drawn out diagrams. Next one, we know angles in a triangle add to 180. Uh, so we've got, there's 111 degrees, uh, 180 to start off with, that's what we're going to try to get to. We're going to take away this 26 and we're going to take away the 111, whoops, 111, and I've got 43 degrees at the top. Okay, angles in a triangle. Next one, angles in a triangle, let's write the 90 degrees in so we can actually see it again. Uh, so we know angles in a triangle add up to 180. So we start off with 180 and we take away the 90 and then we take away the 21 and we end up with 69 degrees for our angle down the bottom here. This next one, uh, oh, hang on a minute, what have we got here? We've got these two sides are both four centimeters. What that's telling me is it's an isosceles triangle. And what do we know about an isosceles triangle? We know the angles at the bottom of the legs have got to be equal, so these two have to be equal, so that one's got to be 74 degrees, okay? So angles at the, the, base, of, the base angles of isosceles triangles are equal, so they're 274s. Now I've got Angle is in a triangle at the 180, so now I've got the 180, and I'm going to take away the 74, and I'm going to take away the other 74 as well, and that leaves me with 32 degrees for the angle X. Always useful to draw the picture. Next question, we'll look at more complex now. So we've got a starting triangle. Now I can look at these as two separate triangles. I can look at this triangle, and then I can look at the big this triangle, or I can look at the big triangle, however I want. All right. So there's a few ways of doing these questions. Now, first of all, that's a 90 degree angle, so let's put 90 degrees in there. Now, let's work out uh, this angle down the bottom here. Like I say, there's different ways of doing this, so don't worry if you've done it a different way. Um, so, we've got 36 and 90, well, let's go 180, take away our 90, and then take away the 36. So, I've got 54 degrees in here. Uh, what else have I got? Now, I've got this angle here, where it's angles at a point on a line have to add up 180. So now I can just say 180 take away 54 must be this angle in here, 126. And finally I can look at this triangle and say, well, angles in a triangle at 180. So these three must add to 180. So if I go 180, take away 126, and take away 28. Oops, get rid of that bit. And I'm left with 26 degrees at the top. Okay. Uh, there is other ways of doing this. Uh, we could have just ignored uh, this line completely and said, it's an angle in a big triangle at the 180, so 90 and 28 uh, have to be this one, and then I can take away 36. So you can see there's other ways of doing it. Going down the bottom here, um, so I'm going to look at um, this angle here. Uh, so I've got angles at a point on a line at the 180. So this angle in here must be 180, take away 113, which is 67. And then finally, I've got 
the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 so I've got 180 take away 67 and then take away 26 uh, which is 87 so this angle here must be 87 degrees and like I say there's other ways of doing it I'm just trying to stick with the rules that we know and trying to keep it as simple as possible uh, going down to this one, so I'm trying to work out this angle up here. Um, let's have a look at this triangle to kick off with. So we've got 43 and 14, this uh, big skinny triangle on the right. Um, so we can work out this angle at the bottom. So we've got 14, no, sorry, 180 for the triangle. We've got to take away the 43 and take away the 14. And I'm left with 123, so that's 123 in there. And then I can say, I'm gonna, on this line, at this particular point, we've got to add to 180. And therefore we've got 180, take away 20, 123, delete, 123 is 57. So now I've got 57 degrees in here. Okay, so that's one of the angles inside this triangle. I could look at this line. So angles at a point on this line uh, have got to come to 180. So this angle in here must be 180, take away the 73, which is 107, 107 uh, degrees. And then finally, I've got this middle triangle. The angles in the triangle have to add up to 180. So I start with 180, I'm going to take away the 107, and then I'm going to take away the 57, and I've got 16 degrees for the angle that I'm interested in. All right. So the top uh, tip here is get yourself a picture drawn out, and then just try to work out any angle as you can, uh, and eventually you will get to the angle that you want. Okay, and like I say, there's different ways of doing it. There's other rules that we could learn, uh, but we're trying to stick with the basic rules. Angles in a triangle, angles at a point on a line, um, and angles around a point of 180, uh, 360. That's it. Have a good go. See what you can do.